Hello, the internet. So, I don't know if you guys can hear the crickets in the background. They are unusually noisy tonight. But, whatever, I'll scrub it out and post. Um, so I promised you guys an amusing anecdote. <laughs> um, about that time, I cried in the back of a police car. <laughs> okay, to set the scene a little, this was back in 2009. I was 17, and I was doing a film project for school. So, our assignment was, it was the final project, and my, I had chosen doing a documentary about some local hauntings as my, as my project. So, I was, I didn't have a car at the time, so I was walking to the, a bridge where I was going to do some filming, and I missed my turn and didn't realize it until I had walked out of the township. And a nice woman who had seen me on her way to pick up her kids and was now on her return trip stopped and gave me directions, and I realized that I had to walk back another three miles to get to the stupid bridge. And it was raining, and I didn't have an umbrella, so I'm, like, hiding my camera under my jacket to try and keep it dry. So I walk... About two and three quarter miles, I was maybe a quarter of a mile away from the bridge, when a siren goes off like right next to me. And I jump because I had my headphones in and hadn't noticed the police car approaching me. And the cop rolls down his window and he's like asking the usual questions. What's your name? Can I see your ID? Get in the back of my car. And I should probably mention that I was 17 and didn't think to bring my ID with me because I didn't so have I a said, car, no, so thank it's you. not like and he made I was it clear that it wasn't requests, anywhere and I wasn't old enough to so buy a in the back of the car. <laughs> and he's like, okay, we've got to call your parents because I was 17 and a minor. <laughs> so we call my dad and he doesn't answer. So we call my mom. And she doesn't answer. So we call my stepdad, and he doesn't answer. At which point, I... <laughs> See, I have an anxiety disorder. <laughs> this was a bit of a stressful situation for me. And by the time of the third phone call, Logical Brain had passed picked up its ball and gone home, and it was all anxiety brain from here on out. My thoughts in this order were, oh no, I'm going to jail. Oh no, my parents are going to disown me and kick me out. I'll have to drop out of school and work full time at Taco Bell, but I won't be able to afford rent, so I'll be homeless as well. At which point my dad finally answered the damn phone. And he talked to the cop for a while, and I was... I was trying to keep my sobbing muffled <laughs> and <laughs> trying to be like dignified while silently crying in the back of this police car. And the cop finally handed my phone back to me where my dad informed me that he picked me up because apparently I matched the description of a runaway who had the same name as me, who was from Oklahoma? Anyway, once that was cleared well, up, he actually gave me a I don't ride actually the remember rest of the, the details half of this quarter part. mile to the bridge I wanted to shoot at. And so that was pretty nice of him, but he could have just let me finish walking and saved me that whole ordeal. Okay, bye.